Alex and the puppy. Hello, dear nerds. It is some day and some time. What time is it? One forty-five in the a.m. I have been through four cameras, and I finally stopped on this one. And so that's been part of the reason I haven't made a video in a while. I'm really sorry that every video I've made so far in the past three or four months has been an explanation as to why I've not made a video in a while. It's kind of getting ridiculous at this point, and I'm sorry. But, I'm on this new camera. Maybe you can see, you've seen this shot before. This is actually as wide of an angle as I can get. I really wish I could do more, but I can't. I got a flip minnow for my birthday. And while I do like the flip minnow, I don't have the computer power to process 720p, which is what the flip minnow records in. I don't have the computer power to process HD footage, period. Which sucks. So, I had to take that back. And I switched to the Kodak PlaySport. You may have heard of it. PlaySport is an awesome little camera. It's... Well, it's actually not awesome, and I'll get to that, because I had to return it. It was a cool idea. It's, you know, it's like a flip, in that it's small, it's compact, it's easy to fucking use. However, it records in MOV, or QuickTime. And, unless you have something good, like a really good editor, you can't fucking use QuickTime. I fucking hate QuickTime. I did so much to try and work with QuickTime, and that camera, because that camera could go underwater. That camera is so fucking awesome, except for the fact that it records in QuickTime. And then, when you get to the QuickTime and start editing, it's shit. It's absolute shit. You either destroy the quality of the video, or something along those lines. You may have seen the video where I took Lucy to the park. Bing! There's a little linky link right there if you want to watch it. I took Lucy to the park. That's flip shot with the Kodak Play Sport, and I had to translate that video into, I forget, it was either an AVI or a MP4 or something along those lines. Anyway, and you'll see there's a bunch of artifacts. It just looks like crap. Then I moved to trying to use a still camera. I forget what it was called, that thing was a piece of crap too, and I thought that by going to a still camera, because I'm actually pretty good with photography, and if I have a camera that knows what it's doing, or like a camera where I know what I'm doing, but and this camera has options, then it's great. However, this camera was, like, it didn't, for one, it didn't work, <laughs> and I had to take it back. For two, when it did work, it was, like, it, I didn't want to just pick this thing up and shoot a video with it. So I had to take that one back. And now I'm on this camera. This is the Insignia something? The Insignia... The Insignia... What do they call it? Just the... Insignia NS-DV111... O O eight O F. Is that really the fucking name on this thing? This does so far exactly what I want. It does um it does wide standard definition, WVGA, which I hadn't heard of, but the PlaySport did it too. This one does it. This one you have the option of either shooting in AVI or in MOV. Thank God, I'm not, I'm kind of shocked that every camera doesn't give you that ability because MOV is so worthless to 90% of the market just because 90% of the market does not have a Mac or some program that's $800. The other thing, this camera does some shit. What else does it do? It's got some other features that are pretty cool. But, I mean, that's what I needed it for. Something cheap and easy to use on my laptop. My fun little laptop here. So, anyway, I'm happy with this la uh, camera so far. I want you guys to tell me what you think of the shot. Is it, like, 
foot boxed in. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to shoot in my car with this, or if I'm going to shoot in my car. So that's going to be interesting too. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. That was a little bleh, a lot in a little bit of time, but I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching.